Hi, I'm Tom Redman, the Data Doc. And in a previous segment of this video series on machine learning and data quality, I warned that without high quality training data, you're not going to be able to properly train a predictive model and you're going to get bad results. We've also noted that the quality demands are steep. There's a two completely separate dimensions of quality requirements you have to meet. The data must be right and you need the right data. Now, let's take a look at existing statistics that we have that inform whether or not these standards are met. The best statistics we have are on the is the data right side. And you can see in the pie chart here that in a recent study, the most comprehensive, diverse study of, of data quality statistics we have, only 3% met basic quality standards. This work was published by myself and Ty Nagel and Day Salmon in an article in Harvard Business Review in 2017. It leads one to conclude that uh, you have to be very, very cautious. Chances are extremely high that the quality requirements for you to properly train your predictive model will simply not be met. It's not quite as simple on the are the data right side, but there's plenty of examples that suggest that the data are not. Examples of bias in facial recognition and in criminal justice suggest too that the are the data right standards for machine learning are exceptionally high. One final note in this segment, and that is that increasingly interesting and important problems require lots more data from disparate sources, and the problems we've mentioned here just grow worse. You're going to have to address these problems if you're going to succeed with your machine learning exercise. And we'll explore what to do about it in subsequent videos. Thank you.